Today is the day I'm headed to the White House to see the Washington Nationals World Series champions. District of Clutch, fight finish. Stay tuned. Greetings, welcome to Success with Etiquette. I'm Sean, and I create videos to help you walk with confidence, explore new places, and live life without regrets. If you're new here, consider subscribing. This is the line to the White House to see the Nationals. We are on the White House grounds, waiting to move ahead. Washington Nationals. Ladies and gentlemen, the President of the United States and Mrs. Trump, accompanied by Mike Rizzo, Ryan Zimmerman, and David Martinez.
Thank you very much, everyone. I have to say, this is a record. We've never had this many people on the front lawn of the White House, so congratulations. Just another record for the But today, the First Lady and I are thrilled to welcome to the White House the 2019 World Series champions, the Washington Nationals. For the first time in nearly 100 years, our nation's capital is celebrating a World Series victory. That's big stuff. The last time Washington, D.C. was home to the World Series champs, the president was a gentleman named Calvin Coolidge. That's a long time ago. Nearly a century later, the Nationals have brought back the trophy to America's capital, and you've won it. This is the first World Series in franchise history, and it's going to be really the first of many, I predict. I want to congratulate the terrific owners of the team, your principal owner, Mark Lerner, and all of the incredible coaches and players. They're all here, and we really uh, just want to thank you, and I want to thank everybody. You have some very special people in that beautiful, that's a beautiful trophy. I've watched that. I've looked at that trophy for a long time. For a long time, I've admired it, many years. We're also delighted to be joined by the thousands of proud Nats fans, including... <laughs> Secretary David Bernhardt, Secretary Alex Azar, Acting Secretary Kevin McAlinan, Administrator across the country. America fell in love with the Nats baseball. They just fell in love with Nats baseball. That's all they wanted to talk about. That and impeachment. <laughs> I like that baseball much more. <laughs> you worked every count, hustled for every base, you fought for every run and produced a comeback story for the ages. Never happened like what happened with the Nats, and that means a lot of good decisions were made. Stories. Boy, did that change pretty quickly, right? That's great. But you were second to last in the National League, and it looked like it was going to be a rough year. But you never doubted. As pitcher Max Scherzer, and boy, did he pitch well. What a job. I watched you for a long time. Nobody. That was a favorite of his two-year-old daughter. And it became the anthem for the Nats fans everywhere. And uh, I tell you what, that turned out to be a very, very powerful little tune. Uh, Max, will you come over here, please? Come here. I asked the first lady, do you think I can throw a ball as fast as him? She said, yes, darling, absolutely. <laughs> My gosh, to be in this moment with everybody cheering him for being at the White House. Um, what a month. What a magical month. And what when the city gets behind you and your teammates believe in each other and you have 1 through 25 on the roster competing, magic happens. And what a day to be able to share it all with you. So you beat the Mets. At the wild card game, it's such an incredible story. At the wild card game, you were down by two runs in the eighth. With bases loaded and two outs, that's when breakout star Juan Soto <laughs> Come here, Juan. Look at this head of hair. He's got no hair problem, I want to tell you. I mean, I just want to thank everybody here, all the support you've been doing for us, for the whole team. I think uh, you bring the energy we need to win this team. And we're here. We love you all. Thank you. The 
fantastic job, Juan. But Juan brought in three runs to win the game. Yeah. You see, you already know how I feel about you, and you know how I feel about this team. You know, truly something special, what we're able to do this year. You guys had a big part in that, but the guys in this locker room had the biggest part. You know, no guy ever gave up. We all kept fighting, especially with a 19 and 31 start. I mean, it's miraculous what we did. You know, Davey believed in us. Our office, front office believed in us. Our families believed in us and trusted us. And you know what? We brought a title back. So enjoy it, because I know we will. In game one of that series, but thank you everybody for being here. Uh, this is a special moment for me, for my family, uh, you know, for for the whole team. And uh, more than what the the team that we show in the game is just for you guys. Almost a no hitter. In the next three games, Washington outscored St. Louis 18 to 6, won the National League pennant, and you headed to face the Houston Astros. I know you don't you have no idea what I'm talking about. And he's a great guy, and he's a great, great player. And that's Ryan Zimmerman. Come on, Ryan. Come on. I have to get Ryan up here. And he had some great series. Thank you, guys. Um, what an unbelievable honor to be here, to be in front of you guys. This is stuff that you dream about. Uh, to see all the fans show up, the parade, look at this crowd here. Um, you know, we couldn't have done it without you. So thank you guys so much. Uh, Mr. President, me and my teammates, first of all, I'd like to thank you for having us here. This is, uh, this is an incredible honor that I think all of us will, will, never, will never forget. And, I uh, would also like to thank you for keeping everyone here safe in our country. Um, and continuing to make America the greatest country to live in the world. Stephen. So Stephen started game six and dominated the Astros for over eight innings with a 1.98, think of that, less than two against the best hitters in baseball, a 1.98 ERA in the playoffs. You became the first pitcher in history to go 5-0 and in postseason starts. First player in history. And I think, Dave, I think that's a record that's going to hold up for a long time. There are certain records that hold up for a long time. I suspect that's going to be one of them, huh? Five and zero oh is pretty much uh, almost impossible because they have to be long series and lots of things. Have to we want to hear you. <laughs> Stephen was also designated World Series MVP. Yeah, we've certainly come a long way, Mr. President. <laughs> um, You know, I think starting out 19 and 31 um, only makes this that much better. You know, we could have been like the other teams. We could have won over 100 games, and it could have been smooth sailing all the way. But it wasn't. It wasn't easy. And I think it was. we only had one choice, and that was, you know, stay in the fight. And we stuck together. We pulled for each other. And, man, what a way to celebrate finally finishing that fight. Thank you. I'm going to consider that four more World Series wins, okay? That would be very exciting. That's true. Despite a controversial interference call, that was slightly controversial. <laughs> Mike just said, that was bad. They might have to find you for that. Right? You're not lying. Huh? <laughs> They're going to find you. That's all right. We, we know how you feel. But yet, it's incredible call. 
See, they can't find me. I thought it was a terrible call. <laughs> Interference call in game six. The Nats, the whole team wanted John. But days before he suffered, that was an incredible job. He was in a lot of pain. He handed it over to Patrick Corbin. Patrick. Come on, Patrick, get over here. I don't know. I don't know what there he is. That took, that took guts. Thank you. What an honor. This is a very special day for me. Uh, I just want to say one thing about this team. Uh, we believe in each other all year. We're really good friends on and off the field, and uh, I'm, I'm excited I'm here for five more years. Thank you. So Patrick, as you know, pitched three clutch scoreless frames in relief, and that's a lot of pressure, and he handled it. And the six people, and congratulations, it's a fantastic job you've all done. Thank you. So now I'd like to invite to say a few words, General Manager Mike Rizzo, and then Dave will say a few words, and then they're going to keep going on and just keep celebrating, because as soon as they lose the first two or three games, they're not going to be heroes anymore. That's the way life works. That won't happen to them. Please. Got after it. Not a baseball town. Not even close. Huge baseball town. What a great fan base we had. The fountain and the Washington Monument. Thank you. The president has deemed this as Washington Nationals Day. Congratulations, in the White House grounds. Hey y'all, that was nice. Regardless of your political affiliation, the White House grounds where I had tax dollars paid to upkeep is gorgeous. All right y'all, I'll holler at you later. Peace. Hey y'all, we're at Macy's, about to meet the pitcher of the Washington Nationals, Patrick Corbin. Holla, world champions, go Nets. Today was an awesome day. I went to the White House to celebrate the Washington Nationals World Series Championship and I just left getting my shirt signed by the cutie Patrick Corbin. Yeah, he signed my shirt. He was so sweet. He told me, you know, hey, you want a selfie? So we took a selfie and uh, it was just been a great day. Now, follow your girl, Queen of DC for all the happenings in Washington, D.C. I wouldn't steer you wrong. Until next time, peace. Hit the bell for notification of my next video. Be sure to check out the Washington Nationals Parade linked above. Until next time, peace.